Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Rites of the Horde in Europe Universal 4. General Muhammad is dead. That's unfortunate. He was the most recently hired guy. He had the five maneuver. Short-lived man. So, we've got to try to work towards this institution here in Venice. The Renaissance. Otherwise, we're going to continue, as always, to fall behind. We also need to raise stuff. We can raise this province, actually. Uh, which would be a great idea, because it'll cut the overextension that we have right now in half. Right now we have 6% overextension. Let's, uh, let's fix that a little bit. It will take a month to update. It'll be down to 3% now. Actually, I think you just have to reopen the window, is it? No, it says Arbadil 3... Arbadil 3%, 3 development, but then over here on this thing it's still saying 6. That's curious. How long until this thing actually updates? Let's give fabricating claims. No, it's still, it's still saying 3%. What if I were to, like, core it, and then cancel the core, but make it, like, yeah, that forced it to update. Weird. Anyway, Uzbek has just collapsed to the tribes, which I'm guessing means that they've just gained absolute crap tons of autonomy in most of their provinces. Can we see the autonomy map mode from their perspective? Yes. Ugh. Ugh. You do not want to be the Uzbek right now. Look at our nation compared to theirs. Nice and green in the center. Areas we've expanded to are a little bit crap, but... Let's see, speaking of uh, autonomy... Um, this province here has 38.5%. We, we could go ahead and afford to give this to uh, the tribes. Actually, 38% would have probably been better off keeping, wouldn't it? Oops. You're required to have 30% control of territory. How about we revoke this one? Down to 32. Okay, the Crimean Separatists have been put down. The Bashkirian are also not going to have any progress. Once raised has expired. Ugh. I think we got to spend some money on corruption now. Got to get quickly as we can, we got to get back down below 0.5. Um, I'm going to go for three more months with full maintenance. Get the Crimean Separatists all the way down to zero. And then we're going to call it good. In fact, we can probably lower maintenance a little bit right now. The missionary is almost done. Since finances are such a concern, still 560 ducats in debt, and I'm really not wanting to go any deeper. Then again, we have this, this temporary modifier right now to conversion speed. Only lasts for four more years. Maybe we could use it one more time to get one more conversion done. Yes, Tula. We have to. I mean, we have to try to take advantage of it. Still trying to make the Timurids like me. And I don't know that we're going to be able to get all the way up to 100. They're rather upset that I forced them to break an alliance. Our truce with Kazan comes up in May of 78. So we're like 18 months out. We need to be ready to declare war on you in 18 months. One more month of this. That debt, man. 713. 98% <clears throat> is autonomy in the province we're giving to Persia. It's totally fine. We have negative 13 in Oka. Because we've increased autonomy here. That expires in 80. Keep on losing piety. Nice. That's really going to help out. Look at this. Tech cost reduction 5.3%. I love it. Okay, so we go down to no maintenance for a little bit. Not for long, because it's almost time to declare war. We're still losing money due to rooting out corruption, but we're almost there. We park some troops over on the Kazani border.
Kazan just insulted the Timurids? Awesome. Ottomans have rivaled Austria. Okay, I think we're solid on our relationship with the Ottomans. Which is good. Yeah, we didn't gain any trust. We do have 12 favors. We could call them into something. We could bump up trust, try to get them to help us out with other wars. With those 10 favors, we could call them in against Muscovy, Poland, Lithuania. He would have some issues getting military access. No, he's got a direct connection to Poland. Meanwhile, Poland is currently at war with Hungary, Austria. Losing, in fact. Defender against Hungary. And the attacker has Moldavia. So he's taking the capital here. He's fabricated on all of this. Muscovy will hopefully lose some strength here. Tech 556, we're on 546. We're doing okay keeping up with him. Or again, finances are a major concern right now. Okay, we're below that. Let's really, really scale this back. Yeah, in fact, I'm not even going to pay for it. All right, we need to come out. We need to make some money. Very sad that we're finally going to be below the uh, the relationship limit, and then we're going to immediately go above it again to release Persia, but... Oh well, you know, Dipple points for expansion. We're, we're just paying to grow, so... Is what it is. Let's see. Step, capital fort, mountains. Seven stack. And perfect, we have 11 cav up here ready to go. Hungary would like some troops in a war that they're already winning against our enemies. That's pretty interesting. Out of curiosity, how much could Hungary pay? 1.8x they're willing to pay. Um, We could make 200 ducats up front. How long do we have until our truce with Kazan? Do we have the time to rent them out right now? Kazan is May of 78. Not quite a full year. But we don't need much. Unless this relationship situation changes, this is his entire army. Oh, my vassal could practically take him. He's, uh... Also attack behind us. So yeah, I think we're going to lend as many of our men out as we can and see if we can go harass Muscovy while also making some money. We only have one out of three generals. We have a very, very god-awful general available for them. We can't do any interactions with the estates. We are ahead of time on military tech, amazingly. I'm gonna go ahead and hire a couple generals, see if we can get lucky. 2-2-2, two, two, two. very nice. Uh, I think that's actually good enough, let's not roll any more. So if we offer the 2-2-2 two, two, two general, out of curiosity, I just want to see how much this affects their, uh, what they're willing to accept. They're giving us 1.7x maintenance multiplier, and with the 2-2 two, two leader, goes up to 2.0x. Pretty darn significant. And they don't have enough money for the upfront cost to go higher. So they would actually give us a better multiplier with that 222 liter. They just don't have the money to pay for it up front. But the more men we give them, the safer our army is. And also the uh the fewer of the troops we're actually paying for at all. So I, even though we could get a better multiplier and I could keep some troops back, I think I'm just gonna have them take more of the army. We'll keep these guys in reserve to stack wipe that thing, hopefully. And uh, the goal here is going to be to go after Muscovite forts. Uh, this step fort in Kazan would be very easy for us to take. Defensive, we get a, a shock multiplier. It's not a defensive fort. It'd be easy for us to siege, which gives us... Uh, they'll be happy about the Kondatiari. He's still winning his war. Let's just size it up one last time before we really commit to this. Defender against Hungary and the Hungarian Conquest. So, Poland's the defender, and it's just Hungary and Austria, okay? From the other perspective, it's Hungary and Austria then versus Poland, Moldavia, Lithuania, Brandenburg, Muscovy, and Piskov. So Brandenburg is involved. Most of the war score is coming from two locations, battles, 
and the occupation of the actual thing. Antwerpen is occupied by Poland. Hmm. Yeah, I think we can afford to do this. 200 ducats, I can't, I can't, I mean, especially without the inflation. Let's do it. I'm gonna go, <laughs> we're definitely gonna play on speed 3 though. He's on tech 6, we're on tech 6, our troops are safe. And remind me again that, uh, if we wanted to... Declare war right on time, we are going to gain 2.54 times 0.216. We're going to gain 0.764 per month. Well, actually, the easier way to do that is going to be... We're at 14.46, 14.4 morale. Yeah, it's exa like exactly four months. It's almost always four months. I don't even know why I do the math. It's usually it's three or four months. It's just <laughs> it's just, that's just what it is. So we have to keep the conduct here together. We have excellent, excellent manpower, so we're totally fine to, to suffer some attrition here. Let's just march to Kazan and just go for it. You know, just occupy that fort. Do it. It's your job. Supply is uh, twenty one. It's ideal. Why are we suffering two percent attrition? It's October. Is there like a winter modifier right now? No. That's weird. I mean, yeah, it's a siege, but it should be 1%. Why is it 2%? It doesn't say. It just is 2%. That's so strange. Anyway, um, let's focus on the good things that we've got going for us. So, four months ahead. So January. In January, we raise maintenance to full. And we get ready to attack you. Gotcha. Meanwhile, we have some loans. Um, we're below 0.5 corruption, yes, and it's slowly, slowly decreasing. I'm, I'm willing to sneak in a few extra bits there to get that thing a little bit lower. Let's repay some loans. We're making money. Positive two stability. We've embraced uh, one of the things. I don't understand. I just don't get it. There's no modifier on the actual province itself. Ah, mild... wait. Mild winter. No, mild winter is taking us to the 3% now. We can dot TRA just suffer extra attrition? What the hell is going on? I, I don't get this at all. Very weird. We're still at peace. We'll be able to fin finish the integration of uh, this fellow before we actually end up declaring our war. That's nice. Um, Uzbek- No! No! Uzbek, you bastard! He's mine! This is my land! Damn it! I was gonna get all of it in one go, and now I'm gonna have to wait until I can backstab my freaking ally. Because he's trying to take a chunk out of it. He didn't even have a freaking claim on it, he's just- he's just attacking. I should rent Kondatiari to Kazan. <laughs> so that I can prevent him from winning. Can I even do that? Is it an option? Would you accept my Kondatiari? I haven't rivaled, I mean, he's not my rival. You haven't rivaled me. I have to met free. I can only rent out a maximum of 20 units. You totally take free troops. War balance looks good. Uh, not so sure about that, sir. Let's see how he does. We're gonna go up to full maintenance. I mean, I'm still gonna try to go. I just, I'm very annoyed here. Whoa! 5% attrition now. God damn, man. That severe winter. Ouch. Well, these troops are certainly, uh, earning their keep, huh? And I could come in. If he actually 
gives me a window here. As long as I occupy these three provinces first and then work my way back, I might be able to go for it. Kazan, come on, do a good job here, man. Win your first battle. Kick his ass. Do it. You can do it. I have faith in you. Oh no, the subsidies. We needed those. Crap. Alright, so we're working on our subs uh, our thing in Muscovy. That's gonna help us out with our siege, I would assume, still, yes. Yeah, it totally is. Good. We'll keep on working on that then until it's time to claim stuff. Well, hey, the Ottomans gave us money for a little while. Kazan is winning so far. Awesome. That is really good. The second, the month, I'm gonna keep a diplomat free forever. Just because the, the second that we can declare, we're gonna declare. I do not want to risk missing out on this opportunity to attack. <clears throat> Alright, we are now below the force limit, or below the relationship limit. Question is, do we want to just immediately go back over it in favor of getting rid of this thing? And I think the answer is yes. The sooner we release it, the sooner we're going to benefit from it. No. Okay, that freaked me out. Why is Persia down at the bottom of the list? Because we integrated Sargassa. Gotcha. I was like, why is the Persia... Did Persia get formed? Crap! By the way, the Timurids are imploding. The tribes are kicking their ass. Yeah, let's let's release Persia. Um, most of the land in this area is Shia, so they're going to be the wrong religion. That's fine. Okay, their autonomy should go down to zero. Next month. It's only a three development province. They're not very happy with me, probably because I raised their land. Yep. Um, and your cores look like all of that. Fantabulous. So hopefully Persian separatists will form and they will... Yes, there they are. Very nice. Return territory to our new, our new vassal. We could piss him off something fierce and make him, uh... Make him our religion right this second. Your opinion of us needs to be positive. They currently have 30 liberty desire. Yeah, I think we improve with him for a bit. We probably will demand that he change. This could be a very, very good opportunity for us here. If, if the Persian Separatists do a good job, we could gain a whole bunch of land basically for free. No aggressive expansion. You know, no, no manpower, no money. No losses. And like I said, we're going to keep a guy free. So we can declare the second we're eligible for this war, which is May of 78. So as soon as we get the pop-up, we're moving in. Uzbek is shattering past. Chagatai is allied to Uzbek in a separate war. It's just kind of hanging out in the center of Uzbek for some reason. We're about to take this fort. We're losing a little bit of money. We have three three advisors, though. That's a, a big part of the reason why I'm not actually coming out ahead to finance this year. Okay, uh, we cannot declare yet. Yes, we can. Okay, before he can possibly get an alliance, let's just go ahead and do it. We're going to make the war go over uh, Chelybia, because it's the very first one we're going to siege down. It's a crime against Allah, which is perfect. We love it. And um, I'm going to make sure to occupy these provinces first. Let's go ahead and appoint our guy. I don't really want to risk losing stability, but shock value is too important, so we're going to go ahead and take it. Okay, we go here. I don't think we can catch him. Nope. Alright, we're going to, from here, we're going to go ahead and spread out. A little bit. We're not going to worry about all the other ones, I just want to make sure we get the Uzbek barrier border. Oh, and that's right, we have these guys, I forgot about these guys. Excellent. Our, uh, our troops that we gained via integration. And, uh, the noble Nogatai, whose lands we are returning to him. Nogatai? Did I just call him Nogatai? I think I just called him Nogatai. His name is Nogai? Excuse me. And Uzbek, you're a loser. You're not going to get any of this juicy land. This is my land. You can't have it. 
I am very happy. This looks like this is working out very well. Meanwhile, our our guys are just hanging out, just sieging down Muscovy, just, you know, doing their thing. Um, as far as income goes, I don't think it's been long enough for us to be getting a, a monthly stipend from these guys. 19th of February, 79. So in like six months, we'll start seeing income coming in from them. Our debt situation is better than it was before, but still not great. And we are now working on the capital. We're going to be raising everything, so we don't need to worry about this at all. Just keep the army safe, keep it together. Um, we actually don't even have military access to the Uzbek right now. Which is kind of weird, considering that we're at war with Kazan. He clearly has military access via war, naturally, but... Uh, if, if your enemy has military access, you're generally supposed to have military access. He has military access, and I don't have military access. So that's kind of interesting. We have no siege value, right? No. Of course not. Why, why would we have any siege value? Supply here is 20. Excellent. And we don't really need to suffer extra attrition here. Let's grab the... Uh, grab forward. And we will siege down with uh, no guys' armies. Tuberistan will no longer siege uh, trade power to Kara. Okay, this war is going very well for me so far. Uh, looks like Hungary is starting to lose, which is bad. He's actually got positive war score, but um, looks like has the battle's war score swung? No, he's got positive war score from both. Hest, Spiss. Hest and Antwerpen are both occupied, so he's just lost his capital. Wow, just ignoring the capital? That's kind of dumb. A lot of men on this on this side. This this will be worth some war score. We, we want them to pay for these conductiari as long as they possibly can, because it benefits us tremendously to, to have half of our army, more than half, two-thirds of our army not being paid for. Okay, according to this, the siege lasted 133 days. I think it took longer than that. I don't know. 130 days, that's only 44 months, and we've given them out for almost well, more than a year. 8th, 24th. We're there on the 8th of October. We want to engage the smaller army? Definitely. It's in woods, though. Let's see if we can maybe get him to come into some favorable, favorable terrain for us. Alright, for now I'm going to take a break here. I think things are going splendidly. Very much looking forward to seeing how this war pieces out. We will see in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.